So the world leaders are a legion of blood crazed barbarians. And they're pretty famous for not allowing librarians within their ranks. But have you ever wondered why that is? Because the truth is they used to have them. And the story of why they're not around anymore is actually really sad. So every member of the world leaders has an implant known as the butcher's nails. They're basically a series of wires that digs deep into their host's brain. And these things basically kill off all of your emotions, except for rage and anger. And every moment that you spend not fighting is unbelievably depressing and downright painful. They were modeled after the implant that Angron had for on him when he was a gladiator. And at one point, Angron ordered them installed into every single world eater. And this was an order that did not go over lightly within his legion. Many of them had seen what the nails did to him, and they figured this would be the death of the world eaters. And there was actually a small civil war within the legion, but one side had the butcher's nails and the other didn't. So I'm guessing you can assume who won that debate. One by one, the nails were installed into every single world eater, and that includes all of their librarians. Now these things caused a normal space marine's mind to descend into madness, but the effects they had on a psyker were far worse. A psyker's mind is an incredibly delicate and intricate thing, and having a bar barbaric device like the nails shoved into it had some seriously horrific effects. The librarians of the world leaders were unable to control their psychic powers, and once they started using them, they were unable to shut them off. You can think of the channeling of the warp like using a faucet. It's a slow trickle of unbelievably chaotic energy, and you have a lever to control exactly how much energy you're putting out. The butcher's nails basically remove that control, and their psychic powers is more like a fire hose. One of the first incidents that occurred was when a world leader librarian accidentally immolated three squads from the 100th company, and several other of their librarians librarians ended up literally exploding when they tried to channel their powers. The ranks of the world leader librarians started diminishing very quickly, and the trust and respect of their brothers even quicker. The world leaders had seen what the librarians were capable of, and they downright despised them. Their librarians were incredibly desperate. They told themselves they'd eventually find a way to control their powers once again. But the truth is they were afraid, and this was at best wishful thinking, because they continued to die. It got so bad that eventually Angron gave them a choice. Either be executed, or sign up to have the nails removed. The problem is the nails cannot be removed without killing the host. This was a death sentence. Despite this, most of the librarians signed up for it, and none of them survived. Eventually, the only librarians left were the small handful that had not yet received the implant, and they were seen as pariahs amongst their own legion, shunned and feared, and only finding brotherhood amongst their fellow librarians. Despite this, they still tried to be useful to their legion, even if it was from the shadows. At one point, a combined force of world leaders and word bearers found themselves on Angron's homeworld of New Syria, when the Ultramarines and their Primarch Gilliman came to stop them. And Gilliman and Angron found themselves locked in a fight to the death. Looking like Gilliman would prevail, their other brother Lorgar, Primarch of the word bearers, started channeling dark forces around Angron, attempting to make him ascend into demonhood. The remaining 19 librarians tried to interfere. They fused their consciousness together and wrestled Lorgar for control of Angron's soul. It would ultimately fail, and Angron would become a demon Primarch, who would then later kill all 19 librarians. 